Here's how to create a new page on your WordPress website using Elementor. So you might want to create a new page if you've got new content to feature, new songs on your set list, or new marketing campaigns where maybe you want to offer something new to your website visitors in exchange for their email address. And so in order to do this, the prerequisite is having a WordPress account, which you can get for free with your book live subscription. Just let us know. We will set you up with a free WordPress website. And then once you have logged in to the WordPress admin dashboard, you can very quickly use the new button in the top as a shortcut to create a new page. So that is one way to do it. The second way would be to navigate to the pages tab on your website and click the button add new page either way you'll be redirected to the same interface which is the default wordpress editor in this wordpress editor we don't actually want to do all of the page editing here the only thing we want to do is give the page a title so this box for the title will be automatically selected so you can create this page uh, for yourself. And for this one, we're going to create a wedding cocktail hour entertainment page. So let's type that into the title box. And then the next thing we want to do is click edit with Elementor. That will open up the editor that we are going to use to edit the content of the page. That's going to load. That might take 30 seconds to a minute for the Elementor editor to open up. And then you have a blank canvas for you to build out the contents of your page. If you have a header and footer, they will automatically show up. But now that you're in the Elementor editor, you can start to add your content to the page. I typically suggest adding a container to the page first. That way it has a, a structure to it. And then you can click on this grid of dots to add additional things to that container. For example, a header. And so we would add a header. This would be wedding ceremony entertainment. And then you can click back to the grid of modules, add a video, and drag that to the page. Include your, your YouTube link. And that is how you create a new page. Now I did want to show you one other thing is I'm going to delete all of this stuff by right clicking and deleting it. And then if you have a template that you would like to start with, you can click this little file icon where it says drag widget here, click the file icon, and then it will open up a template library of blocks, which are pre-made sections on your website pages which it has some some pre-made page templates or if you have your own my template section you can use your own templates here and i'll show you adding let's add this wireframe of home one and show you what it will do it will override all of the settings so be very careful with that if you've already created content but it's going to import it and then you've got this very nice looking wireframe of a website that already has some text here and you'll just want to replace that text with your own text wedding ceremony entertainment and so forth so that would be another great way to get started with some pre-made material all right um, the other way to create a new page is via cloning an existing page which just a quick preview of that is you would have to install a plugin in this case I use the Yoast duplicate post plugin so that if you go to your pages tab on your website and you have a page that you already like then you can hover over it and click clone but that clone button only appears if you have the duplicate post plugin installed so that is how to create a new page in your WordPress website